If you're new to open relationships or polyamory, you may have come across a bunch of words that you've never heard before. Metamor, relationship anarchy, triad, kitchen table poly, limerence, compersion, NRE. Today, let's explore just one of those, compersion. But first, hey there. If you don't already know me, my name is Brian G. Murphy. I'm an activist, educator, and certified relationship coach. And whether you're single, dating, monogamous, open, polyamorous, or something else entirely, if you want practical, actionable advice on all things relationships, sex, and dating, subscribe below for new videos every Wednesday afternoon. So today we're talking all about compersion. And compersion is actually one of my favorite parts about open relationships and polyamory. But what is compersion anyway? Compersion is the vicarious joy, happiness, or even pleasure that you experience from your partner's joy, happiness, and pleasure, specifically with other sexual or romantic partners. It's kind of like the opposite of jealousy. Compersion sometimes seems like a strange and unimaginable thing to folks, but if you take a step back from relationships and you think about it in other contexts, it just kind of like makes sense. If your partner gets a promotion at work, you will feel happy for his joy. Uh, or if your friend is falling in love with someone new, you'll be excited for him. Compersion comes from that same place of caring about things that the people we care about care about and being happy for the successes and loves and joy of the people who are closest to us. In open relationships and polyamory, we understand that that vicarious joy can extend to the excitement that our partners feel in other romantic and sexual relationships. You don't always have to feel threatened, jealous, or insecure. I promise. At this point, you might be asking, are you sure this is real? What about jealousy? And all I can say is like, yeah, it's definitely real. But something that I've experienced, that I continue to experience, it's, as I said before, one of my favorite parts about open relationships and polyamory, that there's just like more joy in my life. I love my partner, Peter, dearly. And so whenever there's something that is bringing him more joy, more excitement, more happiness, more adventure, that makes me happy too. Sometimes it feels like a little bit like I'm cheating on a test because there's just all this extra joy in our lives and I didn't even have to do any of the work. And no, I don't get jealous at a lot of things that society or the media or movies or love songs tells me I'm supposed to get jealous about. If he thinks someone else is cute or he's got a crush on someone or even if he's like going on a date with someone, that doesn't make me jealous, that makes me excited actually. But I'm not immune to jealousy. There are still some times when I feel jealousy. That might come from a place of wanting to spend more time with my partner than I currently am, or wanting the time that we do spend together to be more quality time. It might come from a place of seeing him go on adventures or do things with other people that I wanna do. Or it might come from a place of, he's hooking up with someone really sexy and I wanna get in on that as well. In the moments when I do feel jealousy, I realize that it's almost always not about my partner or about the other person. It's about me. If there's something in particular that I want to do or have in my relationship, I can ask for that. If it's about time spent together, I can ask for that too. Whatever it is that comes up, I can ask for that. I can make it happen in my life and in my relationships. And sometimes my response doesn't have to involve anyone else at all. It can be a reminder that I have everything that I need at my disposal to live a life that is fulfilling and fun for me. So it's about recognizing an opportunity for some more self-work, whether that's getting comfortable being alone or being more proactive and getting my needs met on my own or with other people in my life. I, I've got this. And compersion just makes all of that so much easier. It's a reminder that there's a whole lot of love and joy in this world. And that joy and pleasure and love increase when they are shared, not decrease. Being surrounded by people who care about each other, who are in touch with themselves, who are having fun, who support each other, who are living fulfilled lives, that's all contagious. So the more of that you can be around, the better. Compersion can be thought of the opposite of jealousy, but it's important to remember that it's not that compersion is good and jealousy is bad. I actually think that jealousy can be super helpful and I made a video all about the unexpected benefits of jealousy. You can click here to watch it and remember to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday afternoon. I'll see you over there and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.